Hello, and welcome to Alan Wake Remastered. Uh, so this, my, my name is Mike, hi. Uh, this is a, gonna be a weekend let's play, and I usually do, well, I have, I have my schedule I'm gonna throw up at the beginning of every video basically at this point, but I'm gonna do these Friday, Saturday, and Sundays, and this is a blind game for me, finally. I haven't played a blind game very often on the channel. I, I I know nothing about this, d despite all the chances over the years to play the original, I never did, so I'm gonna play the remaster. I, I have looked at screenshots comparing the two, like the original and the remaster, and it's it's crazy. Uh, I, I mean, despite me not knowing about it, how, how good the improvements look. So, uh, I'm playing on PC, and I think that's about it. Also, volume may be a little off in the first episode, it always is. Uh, I, I, if it is, then I will fix it by the following episode. Oh, oh, you, oh, you're gonna pick, make me play normal. I see. Stephen King once wrote that nightmares exist outside of logic, and there's little fun to be had in explanations. They're antithetical to the poetry of fear. In a horror story, the victim keeps asking why. But there can be no explanation, and there shouldn't be one. The unanswered mystery is what stays with us the longest, and it's what we'll remember in the end. My name is Alan Wake. I'm a writer. Hmm. I've always had a vivid imagination, but this dream unsettled me. It was wild and dark and weird, even by my standards. So yes, it began with a dream. It Following usually does. a typical nightmare pattern, I was late, desperately trying to reach my destination, a lighthouse. For some urgent reason, I couldn't remember. I'd been driving too fast down a coastal road to get there. seen the hitchhiker too late. He was dead. Mm. I was convinced they'd put me in jail and I would never see Alice again. Suddenly, his body was gone. Episode one, Nightmare. This sounds familiar. I was in shock from the crash. I could hardly stand my feet. Kind of like a Silent Hill intro. Also, I'm not uh, the greatest w with uh, horror games, so <laughs> apologize. Apologies if I am a little jumpy. <laughs> it, it, might, it might happen, I don't know. I don't think this is a horror game, though. Not necessarily. Okay, look up at the lights. You, you, oh, okay. Reverse your control. No. Not on mouse and keyboard. Ho hold on. Oh, wow, that is fast. Uh, the radiator had broken when I hit the hitchhiker. The car wasn't going anywhere. Sure. Are these his books? Yeah. Alan Wake. So I, I literally know nothing about this. I'm gonna turn down the sensitivity quick. Okay, I think this is better. I set it like really high for controller, I bet. Hmm. Get to the lighthouse. That is a tiny mini map in the top left. Interesting. I'm assuming I'm gonna be in the bottom right. It collapsed. I'd have to find another way to the lighthouse. Coffee thermos. One of a hundred. Okay. Can I jump? Very, very slightly. Oh, this, this, this camera switching. Oh, it's stuck on the left shoulder. I see. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, how did he get... Me, do you, Ryder? You 
That's okay. What? Uh, you missed your deadline. You can dodge enemy attacks. Okay. Oh, I see. Well done. Oh, I. <laughs> I realized that the hitchhiker was a character from the story I've been working on. How does it feel to die by the hands of your own creation? Uh... Is that Steve Bloom? I think it was. Wow, he kind of sprints a little bit slow here. I kind of wish I could have the camera on the other side, though. I like right shoulder. I don't know why. This way, this way. Uh huh. Hurry! He sure is trying. It's a little loud, isn't it? Inside. Oh no! Stop. Oh no! No! Damn it! Die! No! 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 Oh boy. Uh-huh. Uh, there was nothing... There's a door right here. What are you looking at? Oh, no. It... Oh, okay. Okay. I I'm confused. Did I get hurt because I was near there? You are hurt. You should go into the light. You are only safe there. Ah, okay, tutorial. I was like... Well done. I have something important to tell you. It goes like this. For he did not know that beyond the lake he called home lies a deeper, darker ocean green where waves are both wilder and more serene. To its ports I've been. To its ports I've been. Do you understand? No. Follow my light. I don't quite follow either. Uh, unless you're saying to get across the lake. I dream to teach you. The darkness is dangerous. It's sleeping now. When it feels you coming, it will wake up. There's no time. I can only show you the most important thing. The hitchhiker has been taken over by the dark presence. You can't hurt him now. The darkness protects him from all harm. Only light can drive the oh. darkness away and make him vulnerable again. Here, take the light. Okay, makes sense. He's just gonna stand there. This is definitely a dream then. Boost the light, huh? Insert battery. You did it. Now the darkness no longer protects him, but it's still inside, controlling him. He can't be saved. He's still a threat. He is still your enemy. Here, take the gun. Oh, okay. <laughs> now you'll die. 
Oh, I can't aim the gun? I mean... Yeah, you kind of can. Good. You've done well. Remember what I've taught you. That is all. I will give you back your dream now. <laughs> In the nightmare, a terrible darkness was taking over the world. The lighthouse was the last safe place on Earth. Follow the light. Let me just grab more ammo here. Thankfully, it actually stops the- oh, he's still- he's still there, though. There. This is it, Whoa! <laughs> Insert battery. There we go. There's- More of you. How do I- how do I get more battery? Or does it still go up on its own? Oh, okay. So batteries are like instant real refills. There we go. I actually didn't realize there'd be combat in this game. <laughs> Flare gun. So what is a... F oh, I see. So if we're in a dream and we're picking up coffee, is that to try to? It's probably just a collectible. Just like so only when I boost the light does it like really stop them, but it still hurts them just pointing it at them in general. Okay, you can kind of aim at their heads. Seems like the little circle where the flashlight goes is the exact shooting spot. Bye! Oops. Oh. <clears throat> Ow. Do I have a stamina gauge? Why are you running slow all of a sudden? I swear I'm sprinting. Oh man, I want to look around, but I probably can't. Nope, we're picking that up though. Oh god. Ooh, it's loud. Just another nightmare. Everything's fine. You dozed off. Right. Anything more than dozed off would be news for everyone. Cheer up, handsome. We're here. Hmm. This is one of the comparison screenshots I was looking at. It looks so good compared to 
before, at least in my opinion. <sighs> so, are we gonna have like dream segments and then awake segments? Is that flip flopping? Let's act like we're on vacation. Go stand next to that old gentleman there. I want a shot of you with the town in the background. Hold on. Sure. I'll even give you a title for the shot. A city boy. Moments before he got Damn. eaten by a bear. Excuse me? Can I actually talk to him first? Nope. Oh, there's guns on the back of that truck. Hi. Hello there. Pose for Alice. Time to visit our town. Deerfest is just two weeks away. Deerfest, huh? Did you hear that, honey? <laughs> you have a lovely wife. If you don't mind me saying, I'm Pat Main, by the way. Nice to meet you. Yeah, I'm Alan Wake. I won't pretend I don't recognize a famous writer such as yourself, Mr. Wake. A pleasure. I'm an avid reader myself. I hope this isn't too presumptuous of me, but. I'm the night host at the local radio station. Any chance I can get an interview? Look, Mr. Maine, I'm on vacation. In fact, I'd appreciate it if we could keep my being here just between the two of us. I'm sure you understand. Fair enough. You can trust me to be discreet. Not a hard man to track down if you change your mind, though. I hope you two have a lovely holiday. Nice guy. I believe he's being sincere about Very that. Nice. I got a couple of really good ones. And I see you made a friend. That's cute. Right. Yeah? Hey, bestseller. How's my favorite writer? Are you there yet? Very. Yeah. We just got here. Are the locals giving you trouble? Just say the word, and I'll hop on a plane and come make sure that you're left alone, Al. No, Barry. We're fine. Great. Great. Just want to make sure you can relax and recharge. So, how is the place? Has it gotten your creative juices flowing? Barry, we're just settling in. Okay, Al. I'll call back later to make sure you're doing okay. And you call me if there's a problem, okay? Okay. I'm just looking out for you, buddy. Talk to you later. I love you too, Barry. <laughs> you know he's going to be calling you every five minutes. Barry is Barry. I can always turn off the phone. What did I tell you? Text message from Barry. He says hi to you too. No oh boy. Alan, we're here. Come on, let's get back to the car. Uh, oh no, I, I there was probably nothing we going on. We need to on. stop at the local diner to get the cabin key from the landlord. A Mr. Carl Stuckey. He's waiting for us. I'll go fill her up while you get the key. I'll pick you up here in say 15 minutes. Sure. Alan. Thank you for coming here with me. I love you too. Go on. I'll promise to behave. Everyone's got really like. I'd forgotten there were still places like this. To find faces. Towns where everybody knew everybody. Welcome to the Odier Diner. Hi, I was wondering if you could help me. I'm looking for. Mr. Wake. Alan Wake. Oh, God. I am your biggest fan. I know people say that all the time, but I really am. I'm glad to hear that. Rose. Rose, I'm looking for Mr. Stuckey. Carl Stuckey? Carl? Oh, of course, Mr. Wake. He must have gone to visit the restroom. He'll be back in a moment. I can't believe it. I've got all of your books. I got the cutout from the bookstore when they took it out of the window. <laughs> and you keep it here. Well, okay. Good for you. S sudden stop. Hmm. Is that all we got? Just don't blame me when you fall in love, because it'll break your heart when you have to leave. Rusty here is no longer human. Nothing but black coffee under a thin layer of skin. Yeah, that makes two of us. <laughs> oh, e examine. Uh, Are you staying long, Mr. Wake? Right. I can't so much for it. quiet vacation. I'm having a conversation with Alan Wake. <laughs> yeah, a cutout with your face? Do um, me a unfortunate. Favor, sonny. I could really use a tune right now. Coconut, number six in the jukebox. I'd do it myself, but both of my legs have gone to sleep. 
bad circulation. Yeah. Are you serious? Coconut again? You disgust me. <laughs> Call yourself a rocker. Unbelievable. <laughs> All right, now I want to hear it. Oh, I don't get to like choose. The coconut, drink them both up. Just because we're brothers, it does don't that. think I get won't stuck. murder you yeah. in your you sleep. You need to give it a good time. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Yes, that's my favorite tune. Coconut. Shut your now mouth. that's you what I'm talking about. Yes. This is it. I've died and gone to hell. Kind of like. There's probably something over there. Nope. Nope. I like to somewhat be thorough uh, in games. I'm just trying to get away from that song in, in case it's copyright. Alright, let's go look for Carl Stucky. What's your your story here? We'll find out. Don't go in there, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. I think I can handle it, ma'am. I didn't want to wait. I wanted to find Stucky, to get the key and get out as soon as possible. The waitress was giving me a headache. Overeager fans always did. Really? Uh... Okay. Let's see if this door opens. Can't go in there. And that that's just the exit. Are we gonna fall asleep again here? Somehow? Hello? Mr. Stucky? Carl couldn't make it. Unfortunately, he was taken ill. But I have the key for you and instructions on how to get to the lake. Okay. I wish you a good stay in my cabin. I'll come by later to check how you've settled in. And to meet your wife. I insist. Thanks. Uh, Carl couldn't make it. I don't know. Judging by what you're wearing, I think Carl might be dead. A special place. Very inspiring. You got anything else to say, ma'am? Uh, I'm not... I'm not creeped out. You got lucky this time, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. <laughs> This really ought to be fixed, and then I must remind Sarah to change the lights at the station. It's been too long already. Is this even that sounds better than your singing? Are you all right? <laughs> <laughs> splendid, splendid. <laughs> Damn punk here. It swells up like a balloon if I lift anything heavier than a spoon. Yeah. The Andersons. Sure. Uh, local musicians. We're waiting for Dr. Hartman to come pick them up. They wandered off from his clinic at the Cauldron Lake Lodge. Hmm. Alright, well, I'm getting out of here. Bye, Mr. Wake. Mission accomplished. The key and the directions. My hero. I got some flashlights, just in case. Hey, wait! Mrs. Wake! Your... Your keys! Carl. Who's old lady? A real nut house. <laughs> Can you believe this place? This would make a wonderful setting for a book. We're supposed to be on vacation, Alice. I'll figure it out when we get back home. Okay? Okay. We can talk about this later. Batman here on PBF I didn't want to talk about it. I wanted to bury my head in sand. Here's another one of my favorites to go with it. Once upon a time, I was a successful writer, but that was a long time ago. I hadn't been able to write a word in two years, not since my last book. Hmm. And now the weather. It's gonna be a clear night, so you folks in the big city might want to look up every once in a while and see those stars winking down at you. It's pretty dark out here, but don't let your way. I don't know, this is a pretty cool looking place here.
Diver's Isle. Wow. It's gorgeous, Alan. It's something, all right. Don't worry, honey. I'll get you inside safe and sound before it gets dark. And I've got the flashlight. I know. I'm okay. Alice had a phobia. The fear of darkness. I wanted to make sure we were inside with the lights on before sunset. Uh... I'm assuming time's not going to pass till then, so I can search up here. If not, I'm going to mess something up, and uh, I will have learned my lesson by then. She won't be upset, right? She's still standing there. Oh. This definitely looks good, though. It's going to take a few episodes to, to, to really get into it. I think this is an episode-based game, too. I mean, obviously, the first episode nightmares i don't know how long they are but they may be like one a day i i don't know the cabin obviously got its name from the shape of the island it looked like a giant bird leg alice had mentioned that the lake was a caldera there was a dormant volcano under it <laughs> really well that's uh only a little bit creepy uh, i'd be scared Anyone old enough to remember Dante's Peak? That was an interesting movie. All right, let's head back down. So I'm guessing, like, this town has something to do with that whole darkness thing and staying in the light. The town itself, not just his dream. All right, let's go. Can I, like, walk? Okay, control is walk. Uh, I'm sitting here trying to press buttons to see if it switches shoulders, but I think we may be stuck on the left shoulder. Apologies if my camera blocks half of Ellen all the time. <laughs> I never seem to take the straight path in games. I always have to search the sides and everything. Oh! Oh, can you can you actually climb this? You certainly tried. Okay. Hmm. Bet that window's important. Here we go. Let's take a look inside. Oh, it actually, uh... Made sound. Okay, th this is this is another. I, I'm, I'm just taking note of the area here. Back porch. Generator. An old generator had been connected to the power cable. Oh. Oh. Let there be light. Alice had told me about Calden Lake Lodge. The old building used to be a hotel, but these days it was no longer open to the public. Okay, I'll look around a bit. Sure thing. Have fun. Are we, are we sure this isn't? Wait, what? What's going on? You just skipped right forward. I thought he was. Said was we we're gonna look around. Place. I told myself I could rest here, sleep here, and forget about my work. I thought we could be happy here. Oh, okay. You just had to... I feel like I may have skipped something by not trying to go to the house first and stuff. But are we are we sure this isn't the right house? Like, Carl would have given the key to this house, right? He seems to know about the surrounding like this is where we were supposed to go in the first place. Okay. There's, there's nothing. You never know when I find a random pitchfork and he has to have a conversation about it. God. Alice? Honey? A shoebox filled with books by Thomas Zane sat on the shelf. I'd never heard of him before. The Temple of Shadow and... Shadow and mist? 
the labyrinth of me in her dreams t to prevail, prevail, kept from sleep. There's a theme going on here. Alan, I'm upstairs. I have a surprise for you. Oh, okay, okay, then hold on. Thank you. Is there an achievement for hitting your head on every chime? Tur turn on? The oh, there we go. The have already started to arrive. Just ran into one on the ferry. A famous artist, no less. Than... We'll see if we can rope him into an interview later on. Now, let's uh, go to the phones. Caller, you're on KBFFM. Hi, Pat. It's Rose. Why, hello, Rose. What's on your mind? I know who that famous artist was. It was Alan Wake, wasn't it? Uh. He's my favorite writer. <laughs> well, Rose, I... I just saw him at the diner. Oh, I am so excited he's here. I'm sure he's glad to be here, too. Well, folks, I guess the secret's out. This is Pat no. Maine on KBFFM. And now it's the music. You kind of, you kind of baited there. Yeah, you can you kind of baited into having someone say that though. The there water we go. Was black. I couldn't help but imagine all sorts of horrors lurking in the depths below. You're gonna you're gonna have a nightmare about that. Oh my god. It is pretty black. I I would actually be a little bit terrified to go in this water if it looked like this right now. All right. I think that that's probably all that's around. Unless I can actually go in these doors. Okay. All right. How about this door. Surprise. Oh, Alice. What is this? I guess I have a small confession to make. I thought maybe you could write here that a change of scenery would get you past- Damn it, Alice, you- everyone Hey, keeps... hey, hey, just hear me out! There's a local doctor, Dr. Hartman. I read a book of his. He has a private clinic here. He specializes in helping artists. Maybe so now you want to get me committed? No! It's not like that! That's not- Alan? Alan? I don't! Just don't! I don't want to hear it! God damn it, Alice! What was that about? God damn it! I knew she wouldn't follow me in the dark. I needed some time alone to think things through. Oh. We're out. Alice! Alice! Where are you? Help! Alice! I'm coming! It's all right! I'm coming! Oh. No! Alice! What the hell? Help me! Jesus. Uh, I'm gonna get away from these birds immediately. How I got there. All I knew was that something terrible had happened to Alice. The phone was dead. I'd have to find help on foot. What? <laughs> um, did we make it to the lake? Is this like beforehand? I don't want to know, uh, obviously. <laughs> I'm just asking in general for. Among Alice's things was a book, The Creator's Dilemma, by a Dr. Emile Hartman. 
Seeing the book brought back my fight with Alice. I didn't like it, and I didn't like the guy's smug face on the cover either. Kind of looked like Dexter. Just a little bit. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, somehow we jumped into a lake and ended up in a crashed car. The gas station was my best bet. They'd have a phone I could use. It looked like a long hike through the forest to get there. I have no idea if he's dreaming or he was dreaming. Damn. Oh, you were only like a minute from death. Oh. Uh, hello? Hello? Is someone there? The loose sheets of paper were pages from a manuscript entitled Departure. That was the name I planned to use for the next novel I had never gotten started. I was named the author. I hadn't written it. I couldn't remember writing it. In the scene on the page, the hero was attacked by an axe murderer in the woods at night. Hmm. Ah, uh, press F5 to view. I had to find F5. Okay. Departure by Alan Wake. Uh, do I have to F... It Departure by Alan Wake. Can I like go through this or is this just this this page? The man turned to face me. His face was covered in shadows. It was hard to make him out in the darkness of the forest that surrounded us, but the axe he lifted was plain to see. It glistened with the blood of his victim. He grinned madly. The shadows were alive, distorting his features. It was a scene from a nightmare. But I was awake. Where are you? <laughs> that's that's the part. Well, what's going on with this symbol? Uh, find this page in nightmare difficulty. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's unfortunate. I feel like some of the story might be... Well, not story, but like little tidbits. We'll see. I may play through Nightmare uh, on stream too. Anybody there? Son of a bitch. Please. I've been in an accident. Uh, depending, depending on people, if, if people... You know, want it. The lights up ahead were a good sign. Maybe I wouldn't have to hike all the way down to the gas station to find a oh. phone. Can we can we refocus? Because I totally missed that. I missed it. Man, you got to be quick on those. I guess just disappears. Clearly we can climb that, but... Yeah, we're entirely blocked off. Oh! Anybody there? Please! I've been in an accident! Hey! Hey, you! Phil! There's been an accident. I need help. Listen, Deposit. I need two premium cabins for rent in... Nightfall! Oh, hell. Carl Stucky. Please. To beat you. non reflectable Reservation. Deposit required. Fair and square. <laughs> Carl's the axe murder? I don't have a flashlight either. I don't know if I should be like hanging out here. What's this? There we go. The taken stood before me. It was impossible to focus on it, as if it stood in a blind spot caused by a brain tumor and eye disease. It was bleeding shadows like ink underwater, like a cloud of blood from a shark bite. I was terrified. I squeezed the flashlight like my life depended on it willing it to stop coming any closer. 
Suddenly something gave, and the light seemed to shine brighter. Hmm. I feel like these are kind of giving you fo foreshadowing hints. Okay. Okay. Nothing. In great falls, to to arrive. Well, he hasn't tried to attack yet. Oh shit. figure a way out of this any second now and Stucky would be knocking on the door with his axe like Nicholson in The Shining hmm. uh, he couldn't get in here anyways there's there's light on right pick up batteries during your Oh, here we go. Incontestably <laughs> proven health benefit. Okay. Let you kill two birds with one stone. You can see the sun. Man, his voice. Those cholesterol levels down. That must have been interesting interesting and fun to voice act, just the in and out, like, extra enunciation on some of the things. So, Cauldron Lake is right there. Where is the gas station I'm at? There is no, like... Oh, there it is, Stucky's gas station. So we're actually near Cauldron Lake. Maybe... Maybe it's, it's, it's true? I don't know. It's really hard to read that map, though. <laughs> Especially since I point the light at it, and it actually makes it worse. Use the phone. Yes. Oh, Bright Falls Sheriff Station. Hold me up. Hello? Hello? Oh, you tried. The spot. Uh oh. <laughs> Should probably. Nope. Oh. Shit. I didn't make it, did I? Nope. Man, I, I knew it too. Okay. I'm gonna do all the stuff again. Okay, I'm ready. Oh, the camera just kind of forced me. Go! Ugh. Oh. Oh, and they got hard hats on. Right, so until they actually flinch like that, I can't, I can't hit them. There we go. I think they're both good, though. There we go. Impounded with the concussion. I'd never fired a gun outside a shooting range. And now I just killed someone, or something. There were no bodies. They just disappeared. If I was dreaming, it felt real enough to make me sick. Hmm. So what does the flare gun do? Does it... Oh, this is interesting. What, what, what is going on here? It's like a yellow arrow that only mildly shows. Ow. Po pointing to... Hidden items, I see. I'm sorry, I'm I'm <laughs> going going in circles here trying to look for stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I know. That that was smart. 
Um, how do we get rid of you? Can we do something with this to get rid of it? No. Oh, duh. The dark forest was the last place I wanted to go, but I had no choice. I had to get to the gas station. It's rabbit season. Did you just make that joke? Oh, I had flare on. So that's what a flare gun does. <laughs> I feel like I should have saved that, but it's fine. Let's go up here. Manuscript. Have I missed any? I probably. It certainly skipped farther down. Rose knew she had been gushing, but right now she didn't care. As far as she was concerned, her brief meeting with Alan Wake was literally the high point of her life. She watched as he got in the car with his wife. She was pretty, confident, at ease with Wake. Not like Rose. They were perfect for each other. She'd have given anything to be called their friend. Hmm. Yeah, Rose is a. I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe she's okay. She seems a little too obsessed with him. <laughs> but we only got to see her for a few minutes. Also, I still don't know. If this is a dream or not? Oh. What the hell was that? When I saw the river below, something uncoiled itself inside my head. I realized okay. that I'd have to find a way across. I didn't even want to look at the water. Alan Wake's pretty brave. I mean, the second he saw his way, he just dived right into that water. He didn't even think about it. Uh, even though his commentary makes it seem like he's a little... little fraidy cat, but I, I highly doubt that. Push? No. But when he said something uncoiled, I immediately thought there was going to be a snake. Ooh. Okay. Oh, that's not even a chest. Any script. So I feel like I probably did miss quite a bit here. I don't know. Barry Wheeler was bouncing off the walls. He jumped on a plane after his calls were ignored by both Al and Alice for several days. It could mean that they were both on a second honeymoon, but Barry didn't buy it. Al had been way too unstable for that, not sleeping, messed up. Barry had years of experience dealing with Alan Wake, and he couldn't ignore it. Something was wrong. Hmm. He jumped on a plane after his calls were ignored by... Interesting. So, she tried to get him to come out here because there was a really good, like, basically therapist for raiders? Is, is that what's going on? And he doesn't want to raid anymore? Stucky was still out there, in the dark, stalking. All right, I don't think there's any more manuscript pages, ju just judging by, you know, that list in there. And I don't think we'd find them out of order, but maybe we would. If not, I, I, I if so, I missed a, quite a few of them. I'm trying not to have to use my battery. Oh, man. All right, they're both good. That's such an interesting crosshair, too. Just the focal point of the light. Left or right? Left or... Okay. The, the, the mini-map says left. Or right. So. I'm sort of secret over here. 
go up the ladder. Okay. The Taken are filled with darkness. Taken, huh? The hand painted graffiti was revealed by my flashlight. Someone had hidden a chest of supplies near it. Lithium batteries. Oh, wow. Uh, I have 15 batteries. See, and I, I feel like you could sit here and boost like that and then let go. And as long as you don't go all the way down, it charges pretty quickly. So I don't really need the batteries if you can manage it correctly, I think. Unless there's like a boss fight with a ton of enemies or something. The staircase was broken. I had to make my way up some other way. Okay. Okay, I you're giving me a, yeah, yeah. We have max revolver ammo now. Light up there. At the moment, this isn't really a horror game. It, it, it's it's literally just like a, a thriller, basically. Oh, I did not manage that well. <laughs> All right, broken, broken. You aren't. There we go. There we go. Like, it, this just kind of reminds me about, like, like Resident Evil 5, to me, was not a, not a horror game either. And this kind of, like, has that feel a little bit. There is another manuscript. Okay, you are getting them out of order then. Because Barry's arrival's at the end. I heard them before I saw them. Swooping down from the sky and screeching as they came. I spun around just as the cloud was upon me. For an instant, I stared into a hundred dead eyes. Black pearls glittering in the darkness. I raised the flashlight and the swarm exploded like fireworks. Feathers burned, turned into ash. I couldn't hear my scream above theirs. Hmm. Uh, I did try that with the, the the first ones we saw it shotgun saw <laughs> all right we only got two shots for that so i'm gonna hold on to that apparently alan's got some giant pockets yep just, just pulling it right out Oh, uh, did, did we actually hit this? Did we actually hit the one over there, too? I don't know. Move the lift? Okay. Probably right there. Nope. I thought it was going to be like a jump across situation, but oh, maybe it is. Where is this? That's totally. Oh, it's right. It's right behind me. Yeah. Yeah. Right here. Okay. Movement keys just remind me of a Tetris piece. Oh, what did I miss down there? I have to go back down. Hmm. 
There we go. I feel like you should probably turn... Like, this should be using batteries right now, even at this dim light, right? It should be slowly draining. More shotgun ammo? Well, I was just outside for a breath of fresh air, and what a night. I, I know most of you are probably in your beds by now, but if you're still up and around, take a moment. Step outside for a spell and breathe in deep. Mm, the weather is absolutely still. The sky is crystal clear. It's like the forest is quietly breathing along with you. Do you listeners know I'm, I'm a night owl, and it's on nights like this I wish I wasn't cooped up in the studio. Makes an old man like me wish I could just roam wild. <laughs> but here I am, and it would keep you company all night long if I weren't. Mm. Uh, it looks like uh, I'm not the only one staying up late. Caller, you're on the air. Hey, Pat, it's Maurice Horton. Hello, Maurice. What are you up to? Well, I was just taking Toby on his walkie. Oh, isn't it beautiful out there? Sure, but Pat, the reason I called is that Toby heard something rustling in the undergrowth and took off after it, and I couldn't find it. Probably a rabbit. Sure. <laughs> Toby loves rabbits. Well, sure. Anyway, I figured that, you know, if anyone runs into Toby, they could grab him. My number's on his collar. And Toby's no. a friendly dog? <laughs> Toby loves people. Usually he comes back, but when we were pretty far from home and it sounds like he went pretty wild there. Great dog, but he's just too dumb for his own good. <laughs> well, Maurice, it's out there now. Hope Toby comes home soon. Yeah, thanks, Pat. You have a good night now. Uh-oh. That seems like foreshadowing for a dog that isn't exactly nice going to be attacking us. All right, you got an arrow for me, or is this... This isn't the supply. Oh, it is. No, it's not. Oh, I see. More flare gun ammo. How many we got? Five. All right. Oh, manuscripts. Wow, just sitting on the floor. At first, I kept finding the pages as if by accident. The book I couldn't remember was either a terrible and true prophecy or an act of creation that had rewritten the world. I began to hunt the pages feverishly, for they held the answer to the mystery. With it, I could save myself. With it, I could save Alice. Hmm. We're still missing three normal or normal mode manuscripts, apparently. So the gas station was closer now. It's light welcoming in the darkness. Paul makes the best carbs in the state. Barry Burstner is the best with no carbs. Monster dog is second best. The famous <sighs> dog is. Oh, I actually don't. Uh-oh. We'll hear them. They like to scream when they come at me. There we go. Right behind me. Let's see if I can aim at the head without having to aim in. Oh, I didn't shift. Oh. More of them. Oh, I see. He's uh throwing stuff. Ah, I don't have a battery in. Yep. Can I get like a melee? I hope these these the the, the, the ammo and everything carries over because I'm just trying to stick to revolver and save everything right now. Any script? Hmm. I stepped into the gas station's garage. It was dark and quiet. 
The place was a mess. It looked like someone trashed the place or that there'd been some kind of fight. Light spilled into the room through an open door at the back, and I made my way toward it. Without any warning, I was blinded by a bright light. An old portable TV on the shelf had come alive by itself. Impossibly, I could see myself on the screen, talking like a madman. Oh. Interesting. Oh, right, we gotta heal up. More batteries. I have too many batteries. Is there a limit? I feel like I missed something down there, but... I don't know. Thank you. It's pro yeah, it's right there. That's a lot of flare gun ammo. Okay. Throwing with salad. There is totally going to be a manuscript off on the sides here. There's one st sitting right in the middle of the road, yeah. Uh, shift! Maybe. Oh. Uh, I was on- I was on the flare- Oh, they won't come close to you after! And it's kind of an AoE, it got rid of two of them. Okay, I like the flare. The cabin on Cauldron Lake? She asked. The sheriff looked at me suspiciously. The early morning light flooded through the office windows. I would probably never have gotten out of the woods alive without her help. But I couldn't tell her the truth of what I'd faced the previous night. She'd think I was lying or crazy. She'd lock me up and she wouldn't help me find Alice. I feel like maybe these are gonna be spoilery uh, to stuff that's just about to happen. I feel like maybe I shouldn't read them. Because what I'm getting from there is we're, we're, you know, the sheriff's gonna save us here in a minute. Science. It bestows immortality on those who advance it to elevate all of mankind. Newton. Einstein, Sagan, princes among men. But the price for such a legacy is steep indeed. In Night Springs. Mm. Tonight's episode, A Quantum Suicide. I feel like... If our lives are already written, it would take a courageous man to change the script. Having called a press conference, Dr. Barclay Colvin is about to demonstrate that very courage. Ladies and gentlemen of the press, I am Dr. Barclay Colvin, and I'm Do I want so to sit and watch this? Could join me here at the Moorcock Institute. Tonight, I'm going to give a practical demonstration of the many worlds interpretation. Oh, I'm so interested in this, As though. As you can see, this is a loaded 9mm pistol. It shall be part of a thought experiment. And now, a real experiment. Known as a quantum suicide. Did he say suicide? Is that a real gun? He's kidding, right? Uh, please, please, stay calm. There is no risk. Observe what occurs when I place the weapon against my own forehead. Now, you mm. might think this round is merely a dud. Not so. Observe the flower pot. And yet, I myself cannot be harmed with this gun. With each pull of the trigger, two new realities branch off. One in which the weapon didn't fire, and one where it did. 
with my machine here, I have ensured that this reality is always the former. I have bestowed upon myself quantum immortality. Under no circumstances can this gun kill me. So wait, wait, wait. What you're saying is that every time you pull the trigger, in another reality, you die? Yes, yes, of course, but that's completely trivial. There's an infinite number of things that could happen at any moment, and they always do happen somewhere. The point is, this one thing <sighs> did not happen here. He unplugs insane, it. Insane, Colvin. Insane? Insane? Hey, was this thing supposed to be plugged in? I stumbled on it. You fools. Gaze upon quantum immortality. Oof. Poor, poor Dr. Colvin. Filled by his own hubris or the ignorance of the masses. Perhaps he should have left the crate unopened, the decaying atom unobserved. Curiosity often kills the cat in night springs. You know, for a random little TV thing from turning on that TV, that was actually pretty damn interesting. Uh, I, I thought it was just going to go off into a little, you know, story about quantum, but, but that was straight up X-Files, or not X-Files. Yeah, basically kind of x files -y. Wow. Uh, <laughs> I probably didn't skip that. But, what can you do? Limit reached. Oh, more batteries. I... Okay, 20 is the battery limit. Alright, Carl. I'm guessing this is the boss fight, basically. Can I drop this? No. That would be cool. It's hard to know when I'm actually oh, allowed to hit them. Alright, let's see if we can flare him. Oh, he left. You know what? We'll flare them. I feel like they're just going to keep coming, too, so... There we go. Wow. I thought you were going to be harder. Stucky's body vanished, leaving behind only a lifetime of nightmares to come. Assuming I'd reach the lights of the gas station alive. Hmm. Maybe he's not dead. And judging by, like, I mean, we're, we're in oh, about an hour, and this episode seems to be roughly like an hour, 15, hour, half. Who, who knows? Uh... I may do an episode of per episode, I guess. We'll, we'll have to see. Unless this is this keeps going after the gas station. I kind of just expected to get to the gas station. I recognized the parade float I had seen in Bright Falls when I first arrived with Alice. Hmm. After the insanity I had just experienced in the darkness, the lights of the gas station felt comforting. At least for a moment, the sane world it, reasserted itself. It definitely would feel like that. Here's the last manuscript. 
Stucky spat on the garage floor and tried to shake the cobwebs from his head. Ever since the couple never showed to pick up the keys, things had been fuzzy. Something, a feeling caught his attention. Stucky looked up and stared as his brain tried in vain to process the horror before him. He stumbled back, knocking over a can of oil. A black pool spread across the floor while he struggled for a brief moment, then let go as the unrelenting darkness engulfed him. Oh, uh, okay. There's there's three nightmare one there. Night, uh, nightmare ones there. But I honestly don't know if I should be reading those before or after. Oh, it had the like a fuck. The had been there two we weeks away when we arrived. If the day count on the banner was right, I was missing a whole week between the night we got here and now. Ooh, interesting. The garage was a mess. It looked like someone had trashed the place, or that there'd been some kind of fight. All right. Oh. I'll keep writing. Outside, there's only darkness. Outside the cabin, outside the story, there's only darkness. I can feel her presence in the dark. Just now, I could smell her perfume in the room. I'll reach her, I'll fix it up. I'll bring her back. The story will come true. If I stop, she's lost. I don't believe this. It'd been me on the TV, talking crazy. Was I losing my mind? That manuscript did mention that, didn't it? TV in the gas the station. Gas station's garage. It was dark and quiet. The place was a mess. It looked like someone trashed the place or that there'd been some kind of fight. Light spilled into This the is exactly what he said when he came in here. I made my way toward it. Without any warning, I was blind. Okay, so basically they're they're just spoiling the story ahead of time, basically. Yeah, cuz that was word for word that it looked like someone trashed the place right as he actually walked in here and thought that. Use the phone. Oh, that's usually like advanced story. Right ball, sheriff station. Oh, thank God, sheriff. Sheriff oh. Sarah Breaker, you are. I'm Alan Wake. But listen, I was in a car crash. My wife Alice, she's missing. Calm down, Mr. Wake. We were staying in a cabin on the island, on Cauldron Lake. There's no island on Cauldron Lake. Not since the big eruption in the 70s. Please, I can take you there, okay? You look like you've taken a pretty bad knock to the head. Are you okay? Listen. We'll figure this out. Please get in the car. We'll swing by the lake and then we'll go to the station, okay? Mr. Wake, have you seen Stucky, the guy who owns this place? I realized I couldn't tell her what had happened in the forest. She wouldn't have believed me. And then she wouldn't have helped me with Alice. What do you mean there's no lake? Or, er, uh, island on the lake. I suppose we're going to find out right here. Ooh. Huh. End of episode one. All right, so uh, I'm gonna end this one here. I I have to skip the. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to skip the end of episode. It's it's just a song playing while it says end of episode, but I'm pretty sure the song would be you know copyright. You did just you want to skip it most likely. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, but that is gonna be the end of this one. I'm definitely enjoying it. I hope I hope things start to make a little more sense to me as to. <laughs> If this I, I I don't think it's supposed to. It's supposed to be big twists or something, and I and like people. Th this game came along out a long time ago, so like, the story may not be super in depth, great as people say. But on the, I mean that's that's from from the reviews I've read. People are like, 
it was older, so you know people thought it was great back then. But by now, it, it's you know, look back, it it doesn't look as great. I I think it's pretty damn good so far, storytelling wise. Uh, it's just I'm just really, really confused. But I'm I, I we'll, we'll find out in the next one then. Uh, what actually? Oh, hopefully we get some answers on like reality, if this is real or not. If he's in a dream, I mean his name's Alan Wake. He that that one g floating orb thing. Lights was talking about him waking up from a dream. Or, not waking up from a dream, but being in a dream. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> so, thanks for watching. Let me know if you like it, and I will see you in the next one.